Alrighty guys, welcome to our, what month is this? July team call. We're halfway through the year. That's exciting and really crazy. Um, so we all just got back from Summit. A lot of us did that are on here. A couple of you, Kristen and Anastasia, I think. Does Anastasia have her ticket? I think, yeah. I want to say you've got your summit ticket, so y'all will be there with us next year for sure. That's exciting. Yay! So summit always gets us like ridiculously pumped up in the most amazing way. We love like being there and bonding with each other and just hanging out and just having a good time, you know, along with all the announcements and the training and all that stuff. It's great. But I really think, oh, awesome. Yes, I was thinking you did, Anastasia. Um my favorite part always is hanging out with everybody and getting to know everybody even better. So that's, that's just the best. That's the ultimate. And we have pizza parties in the hotel room and yeah, we do that on the last night. We stuff our face with pizza and we don't even care. And, uh, <laughs> it's so much fun. So anyway, after I get through kind of some announcements, some renovations that are taking place, um, on diesel nation and our team and that kind of thing, I'm going to have a couple of you guys, um, whoever the summit newbies are or just whoever is on the call that has been to summit before, um, just have you kind of share your favorite experiences and, and kind of what it means to you and that sort of thing. So I will get started. I've got my list to keep me on track. Um, it has eight items in case you want to check them off now, <laughs> for my squares out there. Um, <laughs> number one, be sure you watch the diesel nation summit recap the team call that was last night. I posted the link in our Delta fire page. I am not going through every single launch and every single detail because Christina did all that really well last night. So no need to repeat it twice. Number two, some of you guys noticed that yesterday was today, Tuesday. Um, so yes, Monday, we started what's called, uh, our firefly challenge in our team page in Delta fire. And I just wanted to kind of explain a little bit more what that is and where it came about. So we were sitting at summit in one of the general sessions and one of the keynote speakers was this guy that wrote the, uh, <clears throat> I don't remember the name of the book, either the pursuit of happiness or the happiness project or the happiness advantage or something like that. Anyway, he's a happiness researcher. And, um, a lot of it was kind of a little over my head cause it was very, I don't know. Um, but the part that really stuck out was when he started talking about the scientific study that they did on fireflies and they found, and the smoky mountains is one of the places that this happens, which is right in my backyard. It's about, an hour away anyway and all the fireflies there are like thousands and thousands of them that you can see in the fields and they all light up at the same time so they have like synchronized little blinks and what this study found was there are only a few places I don't know if it was in the world or in the country but that happens where they're synchronized like that and in those populations of fireflies, they are much more successful at life in general, which in firefly terms means reproduction. Um, like it was a drastic increase in percentage. Um, so anyway, everybody got all, you know, ooey gooey teary eyed and, um, oh, Sean A. A Ker. I was totally thinking his name was John something. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> um, did pay you know, attention to that whole speech. But, um, anyway, Carl gets up afterwards and he's like, okay, so we all, you know, work better as we, you know, are, are in sync with each other as we're working for the same goals and that sort of thing. And he had everybody take out their phones and put the little flashlight on and the whole stadium was lit up with cell phone flashlights, which might sound kind of stupid, but it was actually really cool looking. And so anyway, after all of that, this girl in, um, one of my groups with corporate came up with this fire, fire, bleh, firefly challenge and basically just to get everybody focused on gratitude focused on some positive activities every day and just kind of you know having fun with it and and shining brighter together um yeah suzanne says it was very scientific it was i think i even tuned some of that part out which is pretty bad um because i'm a pretty science-minded person but anyway, so that's what we're doing for 21 days. It's the Firefly Challenge. I have a post scheduled for every night in, <laughs> in our Delta Fire team page. And it's just think about three things you're grateful for for the day, you know, um, just to kind of get your mind right, you know, and, and maybe you want to 
think about them in the morning, but put them on the post when it comes up at night or think about them at night and think about, you know, remember them all the next day, whatever helps you. But you want to focus on gratitude. Suzanne's laughing at me. Um, and, and the other part of this challenge is dropping a little bit of positivity into somebody else's life during that day, sending somebody a positive message. Um, maybe they had a picture that you just loved. Maybe it's somebody you haven't talked to in a long time and you just want to say hi, you know, nothing beach body related, just be, you know, a positive influence in somebody's life for that day. That's all the challenges. We're going to do it for 21 days and we might do a little drawing at the end for everybody that actually comments on it and actually does it kind of see what you get out of it. See if it helps you focus on, you know, a grateful kind of positive mindset. Um, for the month and we might have a little prize drawing at the end. That's the firefly challenge. Okie doke. Number three, <laughs> um, diesel nation rising is our new, um, <clears throat> new kind of hub for everything diesel nation. We had an old diesel nation team page and for you newbies on here, diesel nation is our upline team. It's a very big team now. You'll hear us talking about Christina Delgado and Becky Brisset. They are the founders of Diesel Nation. And we've revamped um, that team page to make it more, pretty much to kind of weed out, like it had thousands and thousands and thousands of people that weren't even active anymore. So it was like, okay, archive that group and um, we're going to make a new group with people that are actually active and helpful and motivated and, you know, want to be in a place where we can collaborate on things and learn. So that's what Diesel Nation Rising is. It is the hub for all of our Diesel Nation team calls, any trainings that we do that we collaborate on and that sort of thing. So be sure you're in there. Be sure your teams are in there. Um, I think it's going to be really useful. And, you know, when you guys, the rest of you come to Summit, you'll see we kind of do some things with Diesel Nation and it's fun to kind of get to know those people too. They're all amazing people. We've got like our diesel nation team seriously is the best in the network. And I'm, I mean, yes, I'm biased, but for real, it really truly is like, you'll see everybody walking around in a sea of red on Saturday night, the last night of summit. And everybody knows you're a part of diesel nation and everybody respects that you're a part of diesel nation because it's a team that does things very ethically. We support each other. Like, we're just very well respected among the whole entire network. And that's a really cool thing. Um, everybody's just, you know, got each other's backs and supportive and, um, that's awesome. So that is diesel, diesel nation rising. Um, in it, some of you guys saw it last night for the first time before each Monday night's team call with diesel nation. Uh, one of our diesel nation leaders is going to do a, like a 30 minute training on why it's important to be enrolled and how to get there. Um, everybody is going to kind of have their own little spin on it. It's going to be a different person presenting it every week, but that'll be a really great place for those of you, especially that either are brand new coaches or that you are sponsoring brand new coaches, plug them into that part of the call because they need to hear it from, you know, our diesel nation leaders. Christina's was incredible last night. Of course, it's like, great. Now we all got to follow that. Um, <laughs> And, and it's just going to be, you know, a really good kind of strategies for them and reasons why they need to be enrolled. So, um, those are there for everybody to plug their team into, you know, when that's appropriate. And then, so that's going to be at eight 30 on Mondays, nine o'clock on Monday starts the diesel nation team call. Um, that's basically it for now. We will be doing some power hours, some live power hours within diesel nation. Um, we don't have a set schedule for that yet. We're working on it. Some of the leaders are going to kind of do, I don't know if it's going to be one a week or a few different ones a week, um, but that will also be live in the Diesel Nation team page or Diesel Nation Rising page. So just FYI for when we start that, if you guys want to join in, if you don't really get like, okay, what is this power hour thing we're supposed to be doing? These will be some great, you know, strategies and different ways that different coaches kind of approach their power hour or power pocket or power 30 minutes, whatever you want to call it. Cause I know it's different for all of us. I very rarely sit down and actually do an hour at a time anymore, but hokey dokey. That's that. Number four, beat your best challenge. So for those of you that have been around a while, you know that every quarter historically we do a team cup 
and usually we all hate them because we suck at them. So <laughs> I think this is gonna be so much better because you're beating your own best. Like you are competing against yourself and that's it. And that's awesome. Um, so Christina went over this a little bit, well actually a lot last night, but I did want to show you a couple images. Just share my screen. Hello, Olivia. <laughs> Got more newbies on the call, that's exciting. If I can share my screen here, okay. All right, so beat your best. Where did it go? Okay, I guess I don't have an image for that. Okay, so anyway, these are strategies to beat your best, which I wanted to talk to you about anyway. And this was literally taken from Christina's call last night. But basically what beat your best is, you are focused on, and this is within the last year, which I didn't realize until yesterday. Your highest SC points within the last 12 months, you gotta beat them by one point, you gotta beat them. Um, there are three different medals that you're gonna get. Um, I think there's like a bronze if you beat your best success club points by one point. I think there's a silver medal if you beat it by five, and I think there's a gold medal if you beat it by 10, or something like that. Um, and then, there's also your personally sponsored coaches play into this too. There's a, a extra, it's a big star medal. It's kind of a bronzy colored, goldish bronze colored star. That's a separate medal. If you beat the number of PS coaches that hit success club this month, um, more than, you know, you've had hit it in the last 12 months. So those are kind of your, your big goals. So I want everybody to, write down your numbers, know what you're working for. And we're all just competing against ourselves. And really the cool thing of this is it really gets us focused on the vital behaviors, you know, having good posts up, promoting lift four or mes de mas, whichever one you prefer. I'm, I think most of us are going with lift four right now. Um, and actually doing your invites, you know, making your lists of people that are liking and commenting on your posts and actually message them. Um, do we know, are they going to send out actually actual medals to everyone? Yeah. I'm well to you. Yeah. I mean, if you beat, if you beat your best, yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll send out actual medals. Um, that's the way I took it anyway. I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, so these were some strategies that Christina had. Take a screenshot of it if you want. I can post it in our team page too. And I post the call replay, but and I love this, write down your success club goal and then add 10 points. Try to beat it by 10. Go for it, go big and see what happens, okay? Um, team up with another coach if you want to for accountability. We can all do a fun message thread if you want, or we could all just post our accountability in Delta Fire and keep it fun and, and exciting. Um, 10 extra activity levels. If you need a good kick you in the butt, um, personal development good book, the 10 X rule is amazing. It talks about 10 Xing your activities. Um, it's really good. It's nothing like warm and fuzzy. It's like, look, do the work and you'll get to where you want to be. <laughs> um, consider hosting a sneak peek for your next challenge group. Our next group is on July 16th. So it's about two weeks away. Um, I mean, you can do this however you want to. We've got uh, an info group going for lift four. We have an info group for to be mindset. Um, you can always do like a little live Facebook video and kind of talk about what your, you know, challenge groups are like, or your success groups are like, if you guys need more help, we can brainstorm this too. So just think about that. Um, let's see. Most PS coaches push yourself outside your comfort zone. Be relentless. Yes, definitely to all of that. Um, any questions about that before I, Go on, I can't see everybody. So if you have a question, just unmute yourself and ask away. Very good. All right, we're good. Next, Success Club update. So they are changing, mm, what'd you say, let's see. Oh, that could be cool, Brie. She said, Rachel and I are hosting a challenge group sneak peek webinar on the 6th. Yeah, if you don't mind posting some details, whatever you have, in Delta Fire, that could be awesome. Thank you. Um, 
Okie doke, Success Club program. So they are changing this up a bit. Um, traditionally, we have gotten a Success Club reward every single month. Sometimes they're silly little bobbleheads, sometimes they're tank tops, sometimes they're personal development webinars. They're changing it and I think, I think this is really cool actually. They're making them more significant prizes and it's kind of a, to me, I think it's a bigger incentive really to actually hit Success Club every month. So <clears throat> they were going to start this in 2019, but decided to go ahead and implement it uh, right now, basically starting in July. So what happens, you hit Success Club your first month, so say in July, um, and you get this awesome hat. I love our coach hats. Like, and this one looks really cute because it doesn't say like Beachbody real big on it, but it says coach and people are like, oh, what do you coach, you know? conversation starter. Um, and then when you hit it for three months, you get this tank top. When you hit it for six months, you get this cool duffel bag. And then that kind of takes us through uh, December. And then there's going to be a whole nother set of prizes starting at one, three, six, nine, and 12 months in 2019. What I was reading um, from the FAQs, it does not necessarily have to be three consecutive months. Um, so you could hit in July, in August, and not again until November and still earn the tank top. So just kind of throwing that out there. Granted, you want to hit it every month anyway, um, cause that's really the only way I think you're gonna get the cool duffel bag in December or after December. So, and you wanna just, you know, you're obviously on this call cause you're wanting to <laughs> build your business, right? And the way that you build your business is you hit Success Club every month. So three new customers. Um, so that's a cool little focus <clears throat> or enhancement, I guess I should say. Um, let's see. I also, I might throw in some extra little prizes for my PS coaches. Um, I haven't really decided on that, but just throwing it out there for those of you that do have teams and, um, have, you know, working coaches underneath you. If you wanted to do extra little fun goodies, go for it. I might. Um, <laughs> This is a timeline of everything that was announced at Summit. I'll put this in Delta Fire just so you guys can see the image and see the launch dates and everything without us going over everything in detail because it's a lot. Um, but basically, you've got Beat Your Best, you've got Super Saturdays, you've got our Lift 4 and our Mace to Moss launch, you've got Pumpkin Spice. It's looking like, what is that, September 16th, I think that says? I didn't know there was an actual date. That's cool. Um, you've got the Shift Shop whatever it's called, Proving Grounds. It's the newer version of Shift Shop. And then our December launch program is going to be Transform 20, which we all know I already cannot wait for. Um, so anyway, I will post that and we can kind of plan launch strategies and everything for the rest of the year around that when we get time to breathe, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> one more big, huge announcement. Delta Fire Leadership Retreat. I want to see who else on here. Okay. I was just checking to see if there were more new people. Um, Delta Fire Leadership Retreat. So we did this last year. Last year it was our Delta Fire Diamond Retreat. And um, while we were there, Suzanne and I were there, and we were kind of brainstorming and wanted to make it more inclusive for people that are really working the business, but just might not have actually hit diamond yet. So, but you got to be working really hard. <laughs> so came up with kind of some points that you can earn, um, to basically earn the trip. And I'm not setting a limit at this point. I want to kind of see how the points are falling at the end of the year and, um, see what the numbers are like. You know, if there's a big gap between, number 10 and 11, well then yeah, we'll probably do the top 10 people. If they're are all really close all the way through, you know, 14 or 15, and then there's a big gap, well, maybe we'll be able to do 14 or 15 people. Um, so I just kind of want to see how that's going to play out. <clears throat> I am thinking about, well, we'll go to the beach again. Um, you guys give me feedback on what month would work best. I'm thinking obviously January or February. Um, March, you start getting into spring break and, you know, January and February for businesses tend to be slower months in general, like for those of you that have other real jobs. Um, 
So let me know your thoughts, January or February. The only thing with February is um, <clears throat> New Leader Conference, which some of you should definitely, oh yeah, March is a sea trip this year. I forgot it's early. Um, some of you should be going to New Leader Conference this year, and it's the beginning of February. So I didn't know if January, like mid-January or whatever might be better. So just kind of throwing that out there. I haven't set a time. But basically, you're going to get retreat points for every SC point that you get. Um, you're going to get two points per month that you are in our um, top five, or that you have over 500 PV for the month. You're going to get five points if you hit Ruby, or even if you pass up Ruby and hit Diamond, you'll still get those five points. You get 15 points for Diamond, 10 points if you get to team builder status, and 20 points um, for team leader status. So, um, yeah, and I'm open to either. We could even do late February. NLC is beginning of February, so we could do later in February. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but I'll probably need to book a house sometime coming up kind of soon. Um, so that was so much fun last year. We got massages. We played on the beach. We slept in. We worked out together. We had fun. We had a photographer come and take professional photos, and that was so much fun. And I would love to do that again for everybody that's there, have some good team photos and pictures that you guys can use for, you know, your websites or just promotions, you know, um, for your social media and that kind of thing. Uh, with pretty backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. So super fun last year. Be sure you are working for that this year, um, and it'll be even better. Um, let's see. Two more announcements real quick. I'm going to stop sharing my screen because I like looking at you guys. Okay, there y'all are. Um, two more things. I am going to start, <laughs> restart, doing one-on-one -on -one calls with my PS coaches. Um, for those of you that are my coaches and I've got my acuity scheduler thingy set up again um, So I'll put that link actually it is in the pinned post in Delta fire I'll put it in my Kim's PS coach page as well um, So that you guys can just pop on and whenever there's an open time and you need a call schedule the call um, And then you might want to send me a message too because I'm not sure if that thing emails me when I have a new call scheduled <laughs> I don't want to miss your call just because I didn't get it. Um, and then I also wanted to open up and do like a weekly kind of Q&A session for anybody on the team so that I'm available for all of you guys. Um, I was kind of planning on doing it like every Tuesday night at nine, since that's kind of when our team call is on the weeks that we're not having a team call. Just, you know, hey, here's the Zoom link. I'll be on. Pop on if you have any questions, if you need help with, you know, anything that you need training on, how to place your coaches volume, carryover volume, you know, how to build a diamond, like anything like that. Just pop on and we can do screen share if we need to um, and just answer questions for anybody. Um, for those of you, you know, Suzanne and Bree, y'all have coaches too, even for your coaches, like for anybody on the team. Um, so that's kind of my plan. Uh, if you guys like that, Suzanne said love. So <laughs> I want to be available for everybody, but it's like, I don't have enough time in the day to do one-on-one -on -one calls with everybody, you know? So um, I hope that will kind of help all the teams that are under us and, um, you know, just be something fun. So feel free to do that. And then, okay, last thing, and then we'll get into some Summit stories. We decided at Summit, we were talking about this, we want to do a Delta Fire coaches only challenge like a challenge group that's just us coaches so that we can um, just see each other's, you know, posts. Cause like Brie has her own challenge groups that her and, you know, Rachel and Melissa are in and her team's in Holly, I know has her own challenge groups. And so there's a lot of, you know, coaches on our team that we don't necessarily see everybody's fun, sweaty selfies and just their accountability. And, and even just seeing those pictures, I just heard something weird in my house. There's, Nobody else here. Um, that was weird. Even just seeing everybody's, you know, goofy, sweaty selfie pictures, I feel like it really lets you into their personality, you know? And I felt like when I got to Summit, I never, I had never seen any of that from like Rachel and Melissa. And obviously I had never met them in person, so I really didn't know anything about them, you know? And and I think this will be just a fun, like, you know, bonding thing for us. We can be maybe 
sillier, goofier, whatever than we are in our regular challenge groups because it's just coaches and kind of feed off of each other's inner energy. Holly had a great idea, and I don't think she's on the call right now, but um, had a good idea for like maybe we share wins and successes from our other challenge groups and drop them into like a photo album that's in our coaches challenge. Um, not necessarily with names or anything, but kind of images uh, that all of us can share on our social media or our Instagram stories or whatever with wins from other people so that it, so that we have more basically to promote. Right. Um, so that's kind of the thinking and, um, like feedback on what you guys think from that. I've got it set up and ready to go. I mean, it's just a group. It's nothing fancy. It's just like, Hey, here's our group. <laughs> um, but I thought we could have fun with that. Brie had a good idea too, as she's blowing her nose <laughs> to do like some spontaneous little, like, Hey, here's a workout challenge for the day. Maybe you do, I don't know, a five minute plank. No, I mean, just something fun. Brie is good at coming up with fun ideas like that. I suck at it. So for those of you that like stuff like that, drop it in there. Let us all, you know, have fun with it and just get involved and, and just kind of be a, a more relaxed group for all of us to, to have fun with. So cool. All right. That's all the announcements I got. So whoever would like to unmute themselves and share a lovely thought from summit, your takeaways, whatever, feel free. Suzanne, Bree, Christine. Christine looks like she's trying to unmute her phone. I thought it was just for newbies. Well, we don't have brand newbies on here, so it can be all of us. I don't know. I just look forward to having the the bonding time, and I don't know. You, it 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 is a lot of information and exciting and everything. But dang, Christine. <laughs> I think I'm. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was making sure. I have a raging dinosaur child in the background. So um, I just like being able to come and like get to see everybody in person. Like I kind of feel like we all have this idea about what everyone's like just from our online personas, but actually getting to like bond with everyone and see each other in real life was pretty cool for me. And like feeling like part of an actual team because like I've kind of been floating around doing my own thing. So mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that part. Yeah. And I absolutely loved it when you said that the last time. It's like, oh, that makes <laughs> so good. You know, I think you said you just felt so included. And even though you're yeah. technically not part of our, you know, our downline. Close enough. <laughs> you're close enough. So yeah. Okay. What'd you say, Suze? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I said, who cares if she's not in our downline? I know, right? I'm making myself. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have anything right. else you wanted to say to Suzanne? Um, no, I mean, it's kind of that, but I mean, there is like, there's so much information and, you know, it's just, it's just good to see that stuff in person but in the crowd everybody is like on fire and it's just a totally different experience than being on you know the call or watching the training video it is like you're in awe because there are 30,000 people that are your friends and like-minded and it just it just makes you feel a part of something so much bigger than even we are feeling yeah. right now the energy is crazy it's insane. And it the workout. And the workouts are uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Amy. The workouts are insane. Mm -hmm. Like, completely insane. To actually do the workouts live, like most of us, I think we all did Shantee together this year. Yeah. It was amazing. And Except Julie. She had to go with her BFF Autumn. Oh, that's right. But she registered late, so I don't think she had a choice. <laughs> I think Sean, I really truly think Shanti was already booked. Um, oh, Lord. <laughs> don't mind. It's like, oh my God, my ears. I thought that was the dinosaur child. <laughs> um, 
But yes, the live workouts are insane. And kind of to Suzanne's point too, seeing the energy and just being there in that moment. For me, I feel like, um, I guess it was what you said about it being bigger than just us, right? And the Beachbody Challenge winners on the final night, those <laughs> are so amazing to watch. They always make me cry. All their stories every single year are just incredible. And it really does make you realize that, you know, I mean, this is truly, truly life changing for so many people in so many different ways. And it's just really cool to see those people up there in person, you know, and hear their stories and, you know, see everybody celebrating all of them, no matter who wins, it really doesn't matter. Um, I mean, granted, there's a very big check involved, but they all win. Like they're all there. We all win because we're all there and we're, we've changed our lives and we are helping people do the same thing. And that's a really cool thing about it. Bree, did you want to say anything? Or Amy? Amy was a summit newbie this year. Yes, I, I can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so sorry, I just got back to my house. We've been on the lake. Um, <laughs> no, I loved Summit. It was so awesome. I loved the uh, the live workouts were probably my favorite thing. Um, and just feeling so motivated to help people. So if anybody didn't go to Summit, you should get your ticket and go next year. <laughs> The ones on the call already have theirs. Yay! Okay, can so you hear me with these headphones on? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, I'll share a couple of stories from Melissa and Rachel because I'm not here. But, awesome. Yes, um, that'd be great. I know. I don't know if you guys saw Rachel's post, um, but she on the last night of summit when we were all wearing the red dresses, there was someone who was yelling from like the top of the stairs, hey, I love your dress, I love your dress. And they were directing it to Rachel, but she was kind of ignoring it because she wasn't used to people giving her compliments at all. She's lost like 25 pounds with the day obsession, by the way. Um, and then as they were like passing each other on the escalator, the girl reached out and like grabbed her arm and was like, hey, I really like your dress, where did you get it? And she just was like absolutely floored that someone would compliment her like that. And just the whole weekend, she was in awe of how positive everyone everyone was and how she felt accepted and just, like, how she felt about herself and her increase in confidence. And um, I can already tell, like, in her business, she's feeling more confident and, like, working harder and more motivated after Summit, which is really cool. Um, and her twin sister, Melissa, had been like a discount coach but had not been interested in actually coaching and she came and she um was telling me one night that she just felt so included and so empowered and um she's also lost 25 pounds with ADD obsession and she was just crying and she was like I've never felt so included as I did at summit around all of these like amazing positive women and um when they first arrived they were like afraid to go into kim's room without me because they'd never met kim before or anybody besides me um and they did after they met kim they were like oh my gosh everybody is just so amazing and <laughs> including and now they're like both hooked for life <laughs> and i just i just i never even thought about that i just came barging in your room I'm like hey bring him coming up <laughs> they're like hi <laughs> <laughs> they were so so sweet though I mean everybody was we had a lot of brand new coaches like you know that had never met any of us at all and she drives you know to summit from North Carolina by herself and she gets there and it was just amazing you know that had to be really freaking scary for her I, I would have been terrified if I was her and it was. everybody just had the best time um I know Julie did too you know, we had, some of us had met Julie, but, um, it was amazing. And thank you, Brie, for sharing those stories too, from them. They seemed to really have a great time. And I was, and Melissa made me excited because she was sitting behind me at one of the general sessions, or maybe it was opening ceremonies, one of the big things in the, in the, uh, stadium. And she's like yelling and screaming and she's all excited. And I'm like, uh-huh. And she's a discount coach, whatever, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> she was so excited. <laughs> oh, it was just awesome. So it was the best summit ever. It really was. And you guys next year is Beachbody's 20th anniversary. So I'm just saying it's going to be over the top. Like 
it's always pretty incredible anyway. And I'm pretty sure next year is like, they're going to way outdo themselves. And Indy's a cool city. It was really nice. It was easy to get around. There were restaurants everywhere. Like it was clean. You felt safe. It was awesome. You didn't have to go outside if you didn't want to. <laughs> outside there were skywalks connecting everything um it was awesome we've already got about a block of nine rooms again at embassy suites which is where we were this past year um it was it was perfect there's a big breakfast every morning there are uh mm -hmm. what was it? the evening reception was for like two hours or something yeah it was like wine and cocktails i mean like whatever you wanted for free so yeah, we need to like, do yeah, that more next time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's all all set. I've got everything booked, and we'll kind of um, do it like we did this year. Um, let's see. Never been any any idea on cost for rooms. This year, it ended up like it, it'll it probably will be a little bit higher because we did four people per room this year, yeah. and we were thinking of going with three people per room because the beds were pretty small. So it was kind of hard for two people to share a bed. And then there's a pull out couch. So we were thinking of three people per room. Um, was it like 60 some, almost 60 a night this year? It was like 80 a night this year. Okay. Or seven, 70 something a night this yeah. year. I think if you stayed for three nights, just Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, it ended up being like 175. Yeah. Um, so I would plan on it being a little bit more than that this coming year. One, the room price was a little bit higher, not much. I mean, like five or 10 bucks. It wasn't a big difference. Yeah. But, um, it was a little bit higher this year, but I'm thinking of three per room, that's so it's not as crowded. Uh, but the rooms were nice because, you know, at Embassy Suites, there's a whole, there's like a living room section and then the bedroom section. And there were two separate sinks and it was just, it was so much better than just one hotel room with all your stuff like crammed in around the beds, you know, so <laughs> it was, it was really nice, but, um, yep. That should be about it. Anybody else have anything they want to ask or add or say or anything? That's all I've got. Oh, well, I take that back. I do have one more thing, kind of a big thing. Um, I had a call with my, corporate mentor last week and after talking to her and talking to Christina and all of our other people in our diesel nation like elite pages um I think it is time for Delta Fire to be an elite team again so Yay. yeah <laughs> it has been since 2015 since we were an elite team and then I think life happened to all of us and <laughs> in a lot of different ways and uh, so anyway, I'm going to push really hard. Uh, so what does that mean? <laughs> Elite is, it's this huge recognition thing for the team. Um, and it's, it's basically on you getting as many customers and as many working coaches as you can, helping as many people as you possibly can, but everybody on the team really, really working and, and, getting their coaches to work. And that's the biggest thing. It's everybody hitting success club is really what it boils down to like all the way down. Um, it's just a big recognition thing for the team. So, um, I'll post, if I can find some good stuff from elite night, um, I will post it. So anyway, yes, that's what I think we are going for. I'm going to work as hard as I can this year for 2000. 19 elite recognition. Uh, if we don't hit it this year, we're going to be setting ourselves up really good for the next year. Um, just everybody focusing on hitting your success club, which is what we all need to be doing anyway. Um, rank advancing, which is what we all need to be doing if we're building our businesses anyway. So that's kind of what it boils down to. So, yay! Yay! All excited? Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> well, if you weren't, I know everybody would do it. I know, right? There are what? How many elite coaches were there this year? Not very many, like thirty-five. No, there no, were not. That was premier. Oh, okay, there were only like, very many. 
there were like maybe 150 or so that really maybe not maybe maybe maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah there wasn't a lot wasn't a lot. There, there wasn't as as many as there was the year I was in Nashville. Yeah, which yeah, was what 2016. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was the year that I was recognized. For yeah, I remember that because I remember you were going up there. There were like mm, 250 of us, I think. Like yeah. That. So it got harder somehow. <laughs> They made the requirements easier, but yet it's still harder to do. <laughs> so, okie dokie. Um, I'm going to look through these patch. Anything else I need to touch on? Any plan for lift four? Same as portion fix. It's really, yeah. There's no calculation, though. It's like if you're, wait, this is your bracket. If you're this weight, this is your bracket. Yeah. yeah. It's on demand. Yeah. It is. It's on demand. It took me like 10 minutes. I kept reading through it, looking for the calculation, going, yeah. what the heck? And yeah. then I finally saw in the tiny little like weight brackets. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, well, that was really easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be super simple. It's not yeah. timed out as time nutrition, but it's still kind of the way. So. Yeah. It feels like she wasted so much time this year. No, not at all. Yeah. Always jump in whenever it's right for you. So now we run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there's nothing else. I won't keep out any longer. Y'all can go and get to work. <laughs> Y'all have a nice 4th yeah. of July. Oh, yeah. I forget yeah. it's even the 4th tomorrow since it's on a Wednesday. That's just weird. I know. Plus, there's been fireworks going off forever. Yeah. You guys are probably doing something funny. I'm sure you'll be out on the lake. We're going to Amy. Go to what? I said we're going to Amy's. Yeah, let's all go to Amy's. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Oh, we all have a good one. Amy, did you get your jacket back? I did. Yes, okay. I got it yesterday. Thank awesome. you. I just thought about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. You are welcome. All right. Well, thanks, you guys, for hopping on. I will put the recording in our team page. And let's all get super pumped up and motivated and figure out, okay? Yep. Yep. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good night, guys.